Okay, good afternoon class. So today, I will go going to discuss to you uh, calculations regarding our field effect transistor for the basic one for the characteristics and how they're actually being constructed. I already gave you the first uh, video and for the second YouTube link that I gave you regarding the construction. Okay, so today, I will just going to discuss to you uh, discussions on the calculations of our field effect transistor. So we're going to start first with a comparison of the computations of our current and voltages starting with our BJT compared with our FUT. Okay, so a quick review, you have here your BJT. Okay, so this is your bipolar junction transistors. So you have here your collector. Okay, and then defined by your current that flows here as your IC. The you have here your BDD. Okay? And then you have here your input current, okay, which is defined by base, okay, where currents flow here is defined as your IB. Also for your BJP, you have here your emitter, okay, you have your emitter, okay, or your letter E, okay, and this is mostly connected to your Defined also by the current here as your I E. Okay? Whereas for our FET, okay, our field effect transistor, this FET, you have here connected to your BDD, okay, is your drain. Okay? Defined by current I D. Okay? Here we have your gate, okay, defined by your current IG, and then you have the gate B. Source. Sorry. We have here your source, okay, connected to your ground, defined by your current IS. Okay, so in our BJT, our collector current here is defined by the equation IC is equal to beta ID, okay? IC current in your collector, ID current in your base, with some amplification factor, beta. Okay, so for example, let's say you have here your beta is equal to 100, so you have your 100, Times, let's say your IB is um, 0 0.45 milliampers. Okay? So you will going to have the current that flows to your collector as 45 milliampers. Okay? okay? That is for our BJT. Well, for our FET, okay, you have here your drain current. ID is equal to uh, IDSS okay, times 1 minus VGS over VT squared. Okay, your VGS is in here, the voltage between your gate and your source. Okay, and your IDSS is the drain and your saturation, while your VT is your pinch of voltage. So, what is pinch of voltage? It is discussed actually in the YouTube link that I gave you. But for a quick recap, so let's say you have here your um, FET, you have here your N channels, and then you have here your P. As you increase your VDS, okay, your VDS is the voltage from your drain to your source. So as you increase the voltage, the omnic region here also increases, okay? As you increase the ohmic region here, the current also increases, okay? So this one here, they're not really touching, but almost touching, that is what you call your VT, okay? Or your pinch of voltage. And most common uh, pinch voltages in our calculations, it is already given in our problem sets, okay? 
So just to review the previous slide that I gave you for the construction of our field effect transistor. Okay. So now, we will do some manipulations of our uh, FET ID computations. For example, okay, from here, okay, you have here, your ID is equal to IDSS times 1 minus VGS over VB squared. So let's erase this one first. So let's say our VGS is equal to 0. Okay, our VGS is equal to 0 volts. Okay? So we're going to solve our current. Current here, just plug and play. You have your ID is equal to IDSS times 1 minus VGS over VP squared. So this is 0. You have your 1 minus 0 squared. And your ID is equal to IDSS, this is 1, so you have your ID is equal to IDSS when VGS is equal to 0 volts. Okay, so we have that one. Okay, next. What if the second case, you have your VGS is equal to your pinch off voltage. Okay? So, let's just substitute VP to our VGS. We have here ID is equal to IDSS times 1 minus, since VGS is equal to VP, so you have VP over VP squared. So, this is S1. So, this is all 0. So, you have here ID is equal to ID SS times 0. So you have here your ID is equal to 0. Okay? On the 